Cool Gamer with your daily YouTube live streams and more and today I'm back with some more House Flipper the game where you can buy and sell houses hopefully to turn a profit you can renovate them and do a lot of epic things we're gonna be doing this today and uh, we're gonna be buying our first house so if you watch and enjoy this video make sure you do smack that like button if you're new around here hit that subscribe button and if you want to cop some fire merch head over to typical that store link in the description below now um so we have not bought a house before now if you completely don't know what this game is about a link will be in the description below also to episode one go watch that first then come back here but uh you can see here we're in a bit of um <clears throat> this is our house. <clears throat> I don't know if you could call it a house, maybe a shed. This is our shed. This is our shed with our, our little business office. But we worked hard last episode and we made some cash money. Okay, we made we work means victory. That's what we did. Okay, good work takes hard work. Exactly. These posters are motivational and they they actually envision and bring together the hard work and success that was needed to complete the last episode so today we're hopping on our freaking laptop all right we're going over to the browser and this is our own property it's called first office all right pretty cool first office whatever but we are going to go ahead and go to the for purchase section over here now we have uh what seems to be $48,000 to uh pony up to, to, to buy some property here. So I think, you know, there, there's a lot of different options here. Some of these get a little bit pricey, like house with invited, uninvited guests. Like, that seems like a lot of work. All right, the camping bungalow seems like a lot of work. The abandoned house, that might be the property for me, I think. I think we got to start small, and we got to start with the smallest one here. But you can see there is a ton of different options, and they get fairly interesting. So if you want to see this as a series, continue on forever. Because each episode can literally be one of these houses. All you got to do to show me is hit that like button. That's it. Hit that like button. Show me if you want to see more of this game. And I will know. I will be like, wow. Team TG really wants to see more house flipper. And that makes me happy. Because I have OCD and I like cleaning houses. That, that That's what would happen here. So you can see over here like um, variable woman's house. House that is hiding something. Boring house. Probably a, a missile silo underneath there. And then there's a bunch of other ones. So let's go ahead and let, let's go ahead and purchase the abandoned house here. So a house from the 1950s with an original layout of the rooms for general renovation, a large plot. So we got uh, quite a bit of land uh, available to us. One floor, but we can modify it all. We're going to look at some pictures here. All right, we got some trees. Uh, oh, wow. There's some cobwebs. There's probably some tarantulas living in here. Let me just say that. The bathroom looks... <clears throat> the bathroom looks interesting. I think it's a fixer-upper. I think it's a fixer-upper. But I think we can make the most profit from buying the cheapest property with a big plot of land. I'm just curious, though. If we go back to, like... Um, like, if we go back to... What's this one? The house that is hiding something. Does it, it doesn't show you what it's hiding. An abandoned house for renovation. Its state is not specified. The owner lives abroad. If you want to buy it, please contact the Home For You Real Estate Agency. You know, I'm my own real estate agent, bro. I'm my own real estate agent. We're going to go ahead and buy the abandoned house. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's buy this house. Boom. You bought a new house. Do you want to go there right away? If you prefer to stay in the office, you can always go to the new house using the gate. We're going to go. All right, we're going to the new house. We bought our first house. Let's get some first house hype in chat. In the comment section, everybody. Get hyped up for that first house. All right, we're going to have to do a lot of maintenance. Can we cut the grass? Can we shave the grass? On the left, you can see thumbnails of buyers. From time to time, they will comment on your actions. Pay attention, especially to those on the top. They are the, the higher they are, the more they're willing to pay for this house. Oh, interesting. So we got several different people that look like they could be potential buyers of the estate here. Uh, we spent quite a bit of money. Can I get a lawnmower or something? Oh. Oh, no, that's not. That's definitely not. How about if I. Yeah. No, that doesn't work. <laughs> definitely doesn't work. <laughs> All right. So I don't know if you can take out of these bushes. Can we. I don't think we can take out of these bushes. We've got a bit of. Um, we've got a bit of an um, infestation of weeds at the back here. We should, we, should, we should be able to get a lawnmower, I feel. I feel like that's pretty. Pretty crucial. Okay, looking at the outside, you know, I, th I think it's a fixer-upper. I think we can do work to it. 
It's got a nice little backyard section here. It's a big property, man. Big property in a nice neighborhood. I mean, look at all these other houses around. This is definitely a nice neighborhood. Let, let's go ahead and take a step in, all right? This is the first step into our new house. I'm excited. And... Well... Oh, God! Oh, no! I'm stepping on them! All right, well, you know what? To be fair, it did say it was abandoned, so I don't know what else we could have expected. Uh, this is going to take a lot of work. This is going to take a lot of work, but you know what? We're in it to win it, and we're going to put in the work that it needs. Let's clean up some of this trash already. Let's get this trash out of here. All right, we can put a radiator over there. Perfect. All right, there's a lot of roaches on the ground there. I don't even want to step any further into this house. Oh, that is gross. Um, let's clean up everything off this floor section over here. Thank you. Get these newspapers out. All right. Now, for these roaches, we're going to have to go ahead and pull out a vacuum. Y'all got to go. I understand you were paying rent here, roaches, but uh, we can't have this in our property. We can't have this in our property. You got to get out of here. You got to sk skedaddle out of here. It's so disgusting. Get in the vacuum. You can survive a nuclear... Bomb, but you can't survive my vacuum, so bite me. Bite me. Right, let's open this door. Let's remove this box, too. All right. We just straight up... Yep, we can't have any of that. Oh, wow. All right, so we got a work cut out for us. Should we Should we do this? Oh, yeah, that fridge has got to go. Is there... Interesting. I can't throw out any of that? Hmm. I guess I just got to clean it. Okay, let's go ahead and get this... Let's close the door here. Let's get our mop out and let's start mopping. Let's start. All I do is mop. All I do is mop no matter what. Keep on mopping it up. Nobody said anything yet that uh, seems to say they're going to want to buy stuff. So maybe they'll be like, wow, we love radiators. I'll be like, wow, that's nice. I'm glad you. Oh, you can get the cobwebs out. Oh, I didn't even know there was cobwebs in this game until, until today right now. So there's that. We got to give this thing a nice, fresh coat of paint as well. We're going to make it a bigger property. I feel like today should all be centered around this, but we might, we might need more money to do that. I wish it would tell you how, how clean the room is. Oh, I guess it does. Oh, there's like a spider web somewhere here. Oh, oh, goodness. How did they get those stains up there? That's actually, that's actually terrifyingly impressive how they got the stains up there. All right, let's clean these windows. Squeegee time! It's squeegee time! I love to squeegee all the time. Alright, there we go. That's the squeegee song, by the way. You guys can use that one, alright? Sell everything? We should sell everything. So we're, we we should just sell everything, right? Do you agree with me? Let's open up these windows, too. We gotta... Can we not open up the windows? Let me open the windows. It smells gnarly in here. <laughs> it smells gnarly! Why they gotta have three windows in here? Why not just like one window so I only gotta clean one of this dirty place? There we go. Alright, selling tool. Boom. Sell that. Can I sell these little plugs? No. Should we remove the doors? Alright, this is what we're gonna do. Everything's gotta go. We gotta remember that this is the kitchen though. You know what? How much is the spoon worth? 56 cents. Somebody's gonna buy that? For 56 cents. 168, not bad. Honestly? Making, making, making not bad money from this place. Alright, there we go. We sold, like, everything. Oh. Why is there two light switches? I feel like this one's unnecessary. Alright, let's sell that. We're gonna sell the light fixtures as well. Honestly, not making bad money off this. Oh, we just straight up removed that. Okay. So let's go ahead here, and I'm pretty sure this room is fairly clean. I, th I feel like the outside is what's dirty, because it shows... Shows it being a bit dirty out there. Oh, there we go. See, so, yeah, I cleaned that outside part. How much does it clean some of these parts? Like, the roof's a little higher up, you know what I mean? Oh. Oh, it was that that was dirty. It's got a little scuff marks on the outside. You know, I think we might replace it anyway, so I don't think we should clean the outside. The outside's straight dirty, though. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and sell these doors, too. 123 bucks. Thank you. Sell that all. Okay, now we could just knock down... Should we knock down every wall in this place? Like, on the inside? Uh, 
Let's sell this too. Can you sell the... Can you sell the weeds outside? Who wants to buy some weeds, huh? Anybody want to buy some weeds? I feel like we should knock down all the walls on the inside and then we could sort of repurpose the rooms. What do you guys think? Because I feel like this place is too small right now. We need, we need to make it family friendly. Actually, it doesn't look like there's any family. It looks like all singles over there to the left that want to purchase this property, probably. I said we just break down the walls. Bring the walls down! Bring down... Wait. Bring down the walls! Alright, we're going to remodel it a little bit. There we go. Okay. So this can be a nice open concept area here. Let's go ahead and break that. Okay. So that's all broken there. Um, all right, yeah, let's, let's break down all the walls on the inside, and then we'll decide. Come on, sledgehammer time, baby. Oh, I'm really putting my back into it. Really putting my back into this. We're, get, we're gonna make it a nice layout, don't you worry. I've, I've, I've remodeled so many houses in real life, it's just incredible. Uh, if you didn't know before YouTube... When I was 18 years old, I was a world-renowned uh, house remodeler. So, you have nothing to fear. You have nothing to fear. This is a passion project for me. I'm really just trying to get away, like... See these cobwebs? They can... They can go die. There we go. Break all this stuff over here. And there we go. Okay. Now, we only have 17, almost 18 grand to work with. So, we gotta make this... We gotta make this special. Maybe I'll keep the bathroom there, actually. This is a weird wall here. They, they really didn't need this one little chunk of the wall. Alright. I'm already... Like, I feel like I can breathe a little more. Although, I feel like... Let's, we gotta mop these ceilings, man. This is just gross. How you get coffee stains on the ceilings? Please tell me. Somebody please tell me how you get coffee stains on the bloody ceiling. Honestly, they, they probably were just smokers. This probably went down. This green guck, though. Gross. Gee freaking gross. Let's go ahead and get that off the walls. Clean these windows, man. On the floor, there's a lot of there's a lot of guck on the floor. There we go. Like some of this just will never leave the house, you know? If you look at the load bearing wall, they're all load bearing walls. We're gonna bring this thing down, man. <laughs> I don't know if I don't know if this game works like that with load bearing walls and stuff, but if if it did, I I feel like we'd be under some rubble at the moment. So I feel like we're good. I feel like we're good. There's a there's a plug just missing over here. Let's dispose of that plug. Some of the plugs just fell off the walls. It's all good. It's all good. Okay. So we got quite a bit of room here. This feels a lot better. Like I feel like we can turn this into a bit of a bachelor pad, right? I know it's not coffee stains. It was a joke. The joke just flew over some people's heads. It's like mildew, bro. This is green stuff over here. Honestly, the bathroom doesn't look that bad if you take out all this guck. You gotta make sure it's nice and clean. Oh, there's still some dirt left. Somebody just gave a comment. Did you guys see that? Apparently, this made people really happy. You can see if they will be willing to purchase this property. I don't know if we'll let go of this one. I feel like, should we try to flip this house or should we keep it for ourselves? Like, cause we, we're currently living in a very, very whack office space. You know what I mean? So do you think that we should keep it or sell it? Should we try to flip this house? Should we try to flip the first house we get? Is really my question to you. So it still says there's dirt over here somewhere. Oh, it's on the floor. All right, so this, this is completely clean here. A lot of this dirt left here is on the windows and stuff. We're going to clean the windows because we just need to go ahead and... There we go. Clean that window and this window too. Oh, there's some dirt on this window left. A lot of people saying keep it. A lot of people saying flip it. We're going we're gonna to get like a PlayStation and everything in this house. It's going to look dope. Look, if, if we don't even decide to keep it, we're going to be happy. Because we're going to sell it for a lot. People are going to be really satisfied with this product. Trust me. I'm going to make this house modern AF. A lot of people saying flip it. Flip it, kick it, flip it. There we go. Clean this window too. This place is so grimy. 
There we go. Cobwebs out. The rest of it is, I think, on the outside. Now, if we replace it, do we have to even deal with this outside stuff? Just a moment to clean and all the house will shine. Not much dirt left. Oh, see? So they're, they're giving me, like, they're encouraging me to continue cleaning the house. It's like, you're doing so well. We'll almost buy the house. If it's just... Oh, wow. How am I supposed to get that? Are you bloody serious? How am I supposed to get that? That's, like, out of reach. I literally can't. Eh. <laughs> I need a ladder. I need a ladder for this. Alright, so we're going to have to clean that after. Oh, goodness. That's some next level grime right there. There we go. Alright, a lot of you guys saying flip. I think we'll probably end up flipping the house. Is there actually any grime up there? I might be wrong. It's looking a lot better than it did before. Let me just throw that out there. Oh, I think, I think it's right here, actually, the ground that I was looking at. So there's that. Oh, there we go. Not much dirt left at all. All right, perfect. I, yeah, I don't think anyone was there. All right, if there's, if there's artistic disorder, that's what somebody just said on the left-hand side. Are you kidding me? This is beautiful. All right, how do, how do we do, like, tile and paneling? Bro, I've, I never got the tutorial on how to do this here. Packages of tile would be useful. They would be, wouldn't they? Okay, so I kind of want to knock down this front part, but then how would I do a roof? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Okay, I guess we'll just keep it like that. I think we'll keep the framing for this one. We won't extend it or anything. So I think we should kind of go for like a bachelor pad vibe. So how are we going to do that? Any suggestions you have? I feel like, so I want the kitchen, the living room, and the bedroom to be all in one room. I want the bathroom to be a bit more uh, secluded, a bit more have a bit more privacy. So we're, we're gonna we're gonna remember that. Oh, there's there's another cobweb here. This is probably the last thing I forgot. Here, there we go. Any more cobwebs? So maybe we should just give it like I don't want to. Oh, I think I think everybody's happy at that that cleaning job I just did there. Yeah, you're happy, aren't you? All right, so let's figure this out. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking that, I don't think you can add like, hmm, let me, let me go ahead and buy a radiator. Let me, let me do the installs first. So we're going to go installations. Now we can't do a mountable big radiator, I don't think. Oh, you can. Well, I don't think we really need a big radiator though. No, a big radiator isn't necessary. So let's go ahead and, um, oh, mountable air conditioner. Does that work? No, I think I think that's made for higher end houses. <laughs> I, th I think I think that's for higher end houses. So let's just get the radiators installed first. There we go. And let me buy another one here. So we have two radiators. I think we need three total. I think we need three total. Mountable big or uh, another radiator. There we go. We have all the radiators. Let's go ahead and put that in. Screw these on. There we go. Put this in. There we go. Alright, so that's one radiator installed. Let's install another one here. Yeah, we're going to make the kitchen the same floor as the living room and stuff. It's going to be a bachelor pad, this one. So, that's what we're going to do. Oh, we got a new handyman skill. So, we have two available. So, we can do faster mounting, faster plastering. We're going to do this one. We're going to do... One to each, just because we have the points available. Oh, we got one over here for painting as well. <gasps> I don't want to do faster painting. That's already easy. Maybe 20% less paint usage would be good. I feel like that would be the good one. That actually came in clutch right there. All right, so we have these walls here. Where would we put the kitchen? That's the part that's killing me right now. Let me see the kitchen goods here. Because, do we want to get, like, oh my gosh, kitchen set with oven hex? Probably shouldn't have knocked down that wall, huh? <laughs> let's paint the walls first. Let's paint the walls first. So, let's start off with a, I, f I feel like a gray color would be nice, maybe? Like, a, just a nice, like, whitish gray. So, let's start off by painting the walls, because these walls are freaking ugly, okay? These walls are really, really ugly. So, let's go over to... 
paint. Where is the paint at? Oh, look at these. Sofas and stuff. Ooh -wee. Uh, Paints. Paints. So maybe like a... I don't want gray. Is there like a lighter... May okay, white or gray. Let me know. White or gray. As you guys decide, I'm going to go ahead and install this last radiator, as I clearly forgot. That's the radiator in the corner. That TG forgot. Now, but then he freaking remembered. All right, so that's good. Yeah, maybe we should do the bathroom first too. So many decisions, so many decisions. So like the floor tiles, maybe we should do like white gray. See, that's what I really want, like a white gray look. How about if we bought this? Me, how does this work? To purchase an item to use. Oh. Uh. Darn, that's kind of ugly. That's kind of ugly. All right, a lot of people saying white. A lot of people saying gray. Let's let's go with white for paint. And we're going to figure that other stu stuff out. White's very neutral. Like most places you go into the walls are white, right? I feel like we can't go wrong with white. So let's go ahead and pay that. Put that down. Let's buy a couple of cans of white. I think two should be good for now. And let's go ahead and get to painting because this place is going to look so different once we paint it all. I think that'll just go over just... What the heck are those? Oh, those are... Can I sell them? I don't want the coat racks anymore, bro. Oh, this place really needed this, this new paint job. I just want to throw that out there. I love how the paint's like, yep, not going to fully work until you uh, completely... Completely finish the little spot here. Makes it really easy to see, though. I cleaned most of the windows. I think I cleaned all of them, I think. There we go. Honestly, already looking pretty fly. Already looking pretty good out here. Let's go ahead and fill this up some more. Continue to paint these walls. I didn't paint the outside, right? I think you can paint the outside. Oh, that is looking so much better already. I need to put some light fixtures on, though. Because I'm, I'm a big fan of having everything lit, you know? Have, having everything dumb lit. Let's go ahead and put this in. There we go. Paint this all. Oh, you use a lot less paint. I'm actually getting away with quite a bit here. Let's load that up. Now we actually got to... They're always weird with this little corner of paint. But luckily we can't overuse paint anymore. Because we got that perk. So that works out. Alright, how's that looking so far? This is a huge upgrade already. This place was so ugly when we bought it. We are going to flip this house like nobody's business. Let's keep getting this paint here. All right. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy. I'm so happy everything's turning out. Let's let some more here. I, I love me some paint, man. I love me some paint. A fresh coat of paint. I like fresh. Like, I'm looking at my walls and they look the exact same as these right now. So I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty very excited at the moment. Should have done great because of the roof. I don't know if we want to match the roof with the interior, but I guess you could if you really wanted to. We're going to do all these little sections first because they don't use much paint. And you can do a lot of them at once. These are the most annoying. These little corner corners. You just got to do them at the same time so you do two at once. There you go. Get that nice little coat of paint on. It's so satisfying. Is this game just satisfying to me or is it satisfying to you as well? We need nice wooden floors as well. I feel like we need nice, like, hardwood floors. People would really appreciate that. Alright. So, as you can see, we put in a lot of work so far. But we're just going to keep going. This is our first house, man. If we didn't put in work, what kind of person would we be? Let's get some more paint here. 
There we go. And we're into like the kitchen sort of area now. So that's going to be quite satisfying to uh, redo, to say the least. There we go. Let's fill up some more paint. Might need one more can of paint. Okay. Your roof is white? Whatever. White, gray. They all look the same, man. I don't see color, man. I just see beauty. Oh, people are going to love this house. They're going to come see and they'll be like, Ted, we need to buy this house right now, all right? I don't care what you say about budget. I don't care if they're saying this house is $200,000 now and he bought it for forty grand. okay? We need to buy it, Ted. I'll be like, yes, you do need to buy it. This house is a beauty. All right, let's keep getting this paint going. There we go. Oh, yes. We're almost done painting. We're like pretty much almost done painting. We're not fully almost done painting, but pretty much. Okay, we just need a few more walls. Such an improvement. Such an improvement. Did I not get the edges of the walls here? Oh, I did get these. All right, I think, I think we got all those. Let's just make sure. Okay, everything's looking great so far, I gotta say. Best house ever? Bro, it's not even done yet. Y'all are saying best house ever. Y'all are too kind. I can really gun it when it comes to just the normal, normal sections over here. Because I can just do two at once and just book it. You know what I mean? That's the easiest part. Getting the little edges and stuff, that's the most annoying part of it. There we go, there we go. Okay, I think we need to buy one more bucket of paint maybe. Even if we just buy one more, we can leave it in the backyard and use it later, right? It's not a big deal. Alright, and... Man, th that was like the infinite paint can. That was like the li literal infinite paint can. Let's go ahead and take out this. Load it up one more time over here. Paint it all, baby. Paint it all, baby. Give me that paint. Give me more of that paint. I'm flipping the first house, so the abandoned house. So this is the actual, this is the actual flipping of the house that I'm going to be doing. I hope they like it. Otherwise, I'm living here. Like, if nobody's going to pay, like, good money for this, I should just live here, right? Because I need somebody that, like, I don't even care about making too much profit on this. I need somebody who appreciates the job that I've done. You know, that's important to me. That's important to me, that they appreciate the job that I've done. And know that I did a job well done. That's more important to me than, than... I mean, if they came at me with a million dollar offer, I think I'd sell it. Like, without a doubt. But I, I need some good cash. Or I need somebody who appreciates this. Who appreciates the home that I've, I've built with my bare hands solo. In front of all you beautiful people in chat. Alright, one little thing of paint. Is white your favorite color? No. Not by a long shot. But, looks good on walls. Okay, so this is all painted in here. It looks a lot better. The bathroom needs some... I feel like we gotta do tiling in the bathroom, right? I feel like that would look good. So we're gonna leave that for now. Uh, actually, in here. Does this not have... Ooh. Yeah, this needs to be painted. How about there? Is that good? That's good. Make, oh, this one I didn't clean. Let's go ahead and clean that. I appreciate the job you've done, TG. Thank you. I appreciate you. Let's go ahead and clean this window. There we go. So I think all windows are clean now. There's a lot of windows in this place. <laughs> Can we just say that? There's a lot. I feel like we should also paint this little. Alright, let me know if you see any pieces that I missed too. Because you know I got that OCD, bro. I think we're good here. I think everything's been painted properly. Go outside the window? Yeah, we're good. We're good over here. 
Okay, so now we gotta get rid of these ugly tiles. But I want to see maybe if we could do like flooring. Flooring would look good. Uh, floor panels and coverings. Oh, <gasps> yo, we can have some. Look at this floor panel dark. Look at this one here. So let me let me just throw. Let me just throw down one little. Yo, that looks classy. That looks a bit, uh, maybe a bit too dark for my taste. So let, let's pull back on that for a second here. The pine looks... So I'm going to give you an example. I think we already have pine down here. Oh, it's just clean. Like it's a cleaner version of that one. I'm going to put down all the floor examples. We could also do carpet. Like a beige carpet. It's going to get a bit expensive for me. It's like two bucks to show me each of these. So a beige carpet would be nice for like a, a, a bedroom area. But I, I don't want to separate it. So I feel like all wood should be the finish that we're looking for. We got floor panel over here. Ooh, that's a really classy looking one right there. Um, and then we got floor panel brown. So we got to go ahead and decide which one we like the most. I think I might like the brown one the most. They all look pretty classy though. That's going to be a tough decision. Hmm. That is going to be a tough decision. Let me know what you think, chat. I think for now we should just cover it all. Like, I, I don't think the floor pine looks that good. I feel like one of the woods would look best. So maybe like this wood over here. This one looks way too classy for the place. So I feel like this one, this one is the one that we... Like, this one looks way too classy. That looks like it should be a five-star hotel. This one looks good with the dark oak. And then this one, it looks better. So what do you think? Left or right? Vote. Left or right? It's going to be between one of those two. Now let me look at the bathroom tiles here. So the kitchen... Like, we just need the essentials in the kitchen. We need a sink. We need a microwave. We need an oven. We need a fridge. That's it. Like, those four things, and we're golden. Maybe we'll build a bit of a divider. I don't want the divider, though. Maybe the kitchen should be like in this corner. And then we can move where that back door is. It's not a bad idea, right? Hmm. I do want experiments with the tiles here as well. So let's go to tiles, floor tiles. Floor panels and coverings, floor tiles. Um, ooh, wall panels. Oh, really? We could have just done wall panels? I mean, I guess if we wanted to do like... Yeah, that's totally an option if you like for like the outside and stuff. Maybe we'll make it a brick house. A lot of people saying left. A lot of people saying right. I think it's going to be up to me here. I, it's about a half-half in my opinion. It's about a half-half. A lot of people saying right. I think I might go with right. Uh, but let's go over here. What are just scones? Scones. Plaster. Uh, ooh, we can get some nice plants and stuff. All right, so these are the tiles that I wanted to look at here. So for the floor, maybe like a checker panel. Those are wall tiles. That's... All right, we're going to figure that out. We're going to go with the right one, though. A lot, a lot of people saying right. So let's go over to the floor panelings and cover and go with the brown over here. And let's go ahead and purchase that. Now let's go from here. Ooh, this is going to get expensive. All the way here. 97. Ooh, looking classy. Looking freaking classy. You know, we're spending some budget. That's okay. It's all good. There we go. Ooh, look at that. Uh, let me go ahead and... We're going to hold to pick this up. We're going to just put this out. Can we put this outside? We can't put it outside. Where should we put it for now? We're just going to put it in the corner. Or let's just sell it. Let's just sell it. We can always buy it again if we need it. Go ahead and pick this up. All right. Everything's looking great so far. Everything's looking great so far. I feel like we can knock out one of these windows somewhere. Like, one of these windows isn't necessary. I've never seen so many windows. Can you build a window? Window, 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 window window bro there's no windows i think the windows gotta stay they they, they leave it man they leave the, they leave the windows they don't want you to do anything with the windows 
Oh, okay. I don't know how to use this thing yet. We gotta learn how to use, how do you do this thing? Oh, oh, that's for a package of tiles. Okay, so this is a classy looking floor right here. It's looking great. So I think this area here should be the bedroom. So, actually, let's start off with lights. So let's do lighting. So let's go over to not lamps. What would it be like? Uh, wouldn't be appliances either. You can get a water heater. Ooh, fancy. Home electronics, no. Oh, we can get an oven. We can get a TV. Holy shoot, that's an expensive TV. Other, that's just a bunch of books. You can get a bunny. You can get forks, a safe. Knock down the walls of the bedroom, bathroom. I don't know if that would, uh, that would be good. So, some of you saying I can get a window. Oh, you can. Mountable window blind closed. Oh, they're just like window blinds, though. Let's just go with um, lighting. Like, what, what would it be called? What would it be like a fixture? What the heck is it called? Ceiling lamps? There we go. Ceiling lamps. Okay, let's go with something like classy. Like a lamp cube, steel or brass. I feel like the steel look would be dope. Hmm. All right, let's see the other options. So we got that one. Ceiling ramp lamp rectangular lampshade, white or yellow. Let's go white. And then with that one, we can make like we can make it dark oak if we wanted to, but I feel like that's too much wood at that point. So maybe do, let's do light steel. That looks like so industrial, doesn't it? it? Looks like a little bit too industrial for me. I mean, it might be good. It might be good. Let's check again. Um, halogen lamp? Oh, is that just like a pot light? Oh, it's just like a pot light. Okay. So those are all options. We can also do a halogen lamp mini. Nice. All right, so we can do pod lights. Pod lights would look really nice at some point. But I feel like we should go with, um, I feel like we should go with that uh, ceiling lamp cube for now. For now, let's just go ahead and put this down. There we go. And let's go ahead and put down another one here. Just for now. Just We need some lighting, so we're going to do that for now and then see how things turn out. So turn on that switch. Oh, that kind of activates all of them, the switch right now, huh? Hmm, interesting. Okay, so for now, I mean, we can always pick up and move it. Move it, like, over here. We've got some proper lighting here. So, what do we need in this bachelor pad? Let, let's get down to the science here, okay? So, we got, we need a bedroom, right? We need a living room, a living room area. And we also need a kitchen and a bathroom. So those four things. I think that we should keep the bathroom small in an area like this. I feel like that's important. Can you do things for the bathroom? But can you just choose where the shower goes? Oh, it has to be mounted. Interesting. Okay, so it has to be... I'm assuming it has to be in those places. Like you can't... Like a, like a bathtub. Like, you can't just put a bathtub anywhere, right? Like, there's the pieces in the house that have to be there. Doors. We need doors. Okay. We haven't done the outside, though. Okay, we'll worry about the outside. This is tough. There's some nice doors you can purchase. Internal door. I can't even pronounce it. Sliding doors. Oh, we should get a sliding door to the back. I feel like a sliding door would be great. A sliding door is huge. We need a sliding door though, I feel. So what we need to knock out... I think we need to knock out that entire window there. I feel like we... Should we do a sliding door here? What do you think? I, I feel like we knock down this wall, take out, take the sliding door out. Or put a sliding door in, rather. Can we knock out windows? Yup. I don't know if you can knock out windows. Like, maybe? 
I do want to put a sliding door, though. I feel like that would look good. Build a wall in the bathroom to close it. Well, I mean, we're going to have to put a door here. So how do you put a sliding door, man? All right, we're just going to try something. Why? Can you not break the... You can't break the outside walls, can you? Uh, I don't think you can break the outside walls, bro. I think I can only... You can only break the... Oh, so you can only break the inside walls. So sliding door is not going to jive, I don't think. Unless there's a completely different way to do things that I don't know about. But currently, it doesn't seem like that will fly. So there is that. If I put like an internal door. Now these. A sliding door would be. I like, I'm kind of upset that you can't put a sliding door. Let me put a sliding door, man. No, it doesn't let you. To my knowledge. Unless you... Can you build like a wall outside? No, you can't. You can only build it inside. I think you have to kind of go with what the dimensions of the place is already. I don't think you can change that too much. Sell the walls? I don't know if you could sell the walls. No, you can't sell the walls. Why is a window in the bathroom? Some people have windows in the bathroom. Don't judge them. We can put... Uh, oh, we should do blinds for the windows. Okay, let's do that. So let's go... Windows. So we can do mountable window blind close. Mountable window blind. So let's do this one. Wait, where did it go? Are you freaking serious? Where did it go? Oh, oh, you have to assemble it. Oh, holy shoot. That's actually really cool. Re! 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 Oh, so there's just like. So you can put blinds on those. Can you put curtains? Can you put curtains? Curtains. Oh! <gasps> Oh, I don't know if we should have curtains or blinds. <gasps> wait, 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 can you put like a long curtain over here? So this is a wide curtain. Bruh. Oh no, it doesn't really, that doesn't really go properly. This one might. But then we're going to have like, we're going to have like weird blind curtain. Blind to curtain ratio is going to be weird. <laughs> blind to curtain ratio is going to be weird. I wish you could just choose for the windows. Like you didn't have to choose if they were open or closed. Because I feel like we're going to make all of the windows open besides the bathroom one to keep that closed, right? Window in the back is dirty. Is it really? Let me check this. I don't think it is. Is it? Don't look that dirty to me. Alright, so let's just go with the blinds. So, does everybody agree with me? We'll keep the blinds open besides the bathroom and we'll make those close. I feel like that's a good... That's a good distinction. Because apparently we got to keep all these windows, so. Let's put that there. We got to assemble them all. We're going to be the assembly. The assembly man. We're spending quite a bit of cash on this place. Wait until we have to buy furniture and stuff. Then it's going to get a little bit crazy. And then this one. Let's go ahead and get the closed one. All right, so let's go ahead and assemble these real quick. The easiest assembly of all time. There we go. All right, see, that's good. I think the I think the owners will appreciate that we have it. And then it, once we get like higher end places, then we can have blinds and stuff like that. But for now, I think these work. It's really coming together the place. I'm gonna be honest. Do you guys remember what it started off as? Do you remember what this place started off as? It was a pigsty. There was cockroaches where I'm standing. Alright, look at it. Oh, it looks so clap. 
It looks so classy. It really does. Put a sliding door in the bathroom. I don't think I've ever seen a sliding door in a bathroom. I'm gonna be honest. Like, I've seen, like, you know, when the bathtub has a sliding door, but to get into the bathroom, I've never seen a sliding door. I've seen a sliding door to get into the bedroom. But, like, those are all, like, pretty rare, I would say. It was really bad before, right? I think we're doing, we're doing, it's God's plan right now. Let's go ahead and assemble these. Yeah, it was an old abandoned house. People are really going to appreciate, whoever purchases this is going to be super happy. There we go. I think we did all the windows. Alrighty, so all the windows are now done. This place has really, really come together. Let's add one more light over here, one more light fixture. So let's go with uh, ceiling lamps. Is that the name we're going? Ooh, what the heck is this? Ooh, that's really cool. We're not going to put that one in, though. Let's go with uh, just one or more of these cubes for now. Because I just really want to light up the place so I can see everything. All right, look at that. How cool does that look? So let's go ahead and I think we should start with the bedroom. So let's go beds. Let's get the coolest looking bed we can. All right, so I'm going to give you... Ooh, there are some really nice ones. Hey, Samara, how are you? Good. Do you want to see my house I've renovated? No. Look at it. Look at it. It was a pigsty before. Does this pretty look nice? Crazy That's pretty crazy, house. right? Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. All right, so we got to figure out what bed. The beds get fairly expensive here, so... We can get Venge, Oak, Nut. I actually like Nut. Let's see if we've got nut. Where would we put it? That's a big freaking bed. Do we need a bed that's this big? Like, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with the bedroom, bathroom in a little bit, guys. Don't worry about that. Alright, that actually looks really cool, too. I love how you can preview it before you put it down. Like, do we need a bed that's that big? Okay, I like the double bed Dora. I feel like that one's really nice looking. You would also go with the Hermes. That's a bit too much, though. That looks like, I don't know, for a bachelor pad. Maybe this one would probably be the best one. Oh, that's really large, too. All right, I think we're going to go with the nut. <laughs> I think we're going to go with the nut, guys. So let's go over to the double bed Dora. And let's go with the nut. And let's put it as far back as possible. There we go. We've bought our bed. We've bought our bed. So now we have just a little bit of room. The bedroom. This is it, dude. Look. Oh, they're moving up. They're moving up. Do you see them on the left-hand side? They're talking. All right. So we got to keep going here. So it looks like we got three tile space on both sides. So that's good. So let's go ahead and... Is, is there like a bedside... Tables? What are they called in this game? Uh, side tables, maybe? Tables. Bedside table Hermes. Is there a Dora bedside table? We need a Dora bedside table. Square table modern. How big is this table? Oh, no, that's not what I meant. Oh, yeah, Dora doesn't have a pillow. That's kind of weird, but you know what? We, we Gucci. We, go, we Gucci, man. We're going to go with the bedside table Hermes. And we're going to get it in. There's no nut. There's no nut color. Very disappointing. We might have to go with um, Venge or Dark Walnut. Dark Walnut would actually look... Maybe we have to go with Venge because there's, there's a lack of nut. Yeah, we're going to have to go with Venge. Um, wait, this one might work. No. We're going to have to go with pine because there's no nut. We're going to have to go with dark walnut because there's no nut. Hope you guys don't hate me for that. So let's go ahead and buy that. Let's go ahead and buy this other one. Let's go ahead and pick this up once and just move it just a little bit to the left. 
I don't think we can move it to the left. There we go. We moved it a little bit to the left. Gave a bit more space with that bedside table. I actually can't get in on that side anymore, so we're going to move it back. Because the radiator locked me a little bit more than I thought it would. There we go. That's good. We can get in on that side, too. <laughs> you guys are hilarious in comments. Let me just say that. Oof. All right. And then this guy's going to go back a little bit. And to the left a little bit more. It's a bit far to the left. We got to go. All right. You know what? I won't let the OCD take over me, guys. Don't worry. I won't let it win. It's not going to win this time. Okay, there. Perfect. So we got the bedside tables. Now we got to go with uh, lamps. Ooh. Ooh. Table lamp cube. I want one like this. That's, that might be a bit too classy. You know, I want to go with the modern look. That, lo that looks a bit too anti-modern here. So we might go with this. If somebody wants to read in bed. Doesn't even let me put it on, bro. Oh, there we go. Somebody wants to read. Now, nah, that's too much. How about just the desk lamp? All right. Up to you guys. Um, so this desk lamp or that desk lamp or the table lamp cube. Cube or desk lamp? Let me know. I feel like either one will work very well. And I feel like that's a great spot to uh, put that in. I wonder if we can mount a TV like on the side over here. TV. No. Um, home electronics. Hanging TV. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? You ever watch TV vertically? Your boy does. Where the heck am I going to put a TV? All right. Everybody's saying cube. So let's go ahead and go with uh, lamps. It's not ceiling lamps. Bro, I forgot. I forget where everything is. So everybody's going with the cube. But there's two cubes. There's table lamp and cube. One's cheaper than the other. What's the difference here? I honestly can't tell the difference. So there's this one. And then there's this one. I'm going to buy the more expensive one because... I don't know. Maybe it'll give us some secret hidden powers. Maybe it'll give us some secret hidden powers that we don't know about. Okay, so we're putting it right at the back. There we go. All right, sweet. Now, can we get like um, what's like a little bit of? We can put other. We can put a gray book, maybe a red book, a nice book on the side would be nice. Notebook with recipes. Samara. Samara. You guys, you guys hear that? I'll be right back. Give me one second. Everybody hit the like button while I'm missing. Let me know what you want me to put over there. All right, Miku broke something, so there's that. Miku freaking broke something. What a savage she is. All right, let's go ahead. Oh, we could buy a mirror. We should get a white beach. Is there a nut? Dude, there is a nut. Should I put a mirror here? Is there a, like a standing mirror that looks a bit better? We can put a safe, a teapot. Man. Them teapots. Hanging shelf up. 
This one does not come in nut, unfortunately. We could do a nice uh, wood cherry if we wanted to. Or a venge. Guess none of these would really work. Like we could put here and put books and stuff on it. Let's put um okay, let, let, we'll be quick about this one. Don't don't you worry, guys. We can put a little kids' room. The welcome mat natural, red, gray, pink, yellow. If we put natural, we'll look that grime. Why does it look so grimy all the time? Why you gotta look so grimy, bro? All right, let's go mirror. Mirror. All right, that's the only mirror we can get. I think we're gonna go with probably Venge or Nut. Oh, this one's straight up a mirror. I mean, why is it so f flashy though? We're gonna go with Nut. I feel like you gotta wake up and look at yourself, you know? There we go, that's nice. We need a TV stand. Yeah, I think the TV stuff is gonna go like over here. And then we'll have like a floating kitchen area. May oh, wait, 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 why don't we just put the, oh wait, I don't think it works over here. Okay, we gotta do the bath bathroom real quick cause then maybe we can knock down a wall or two and then we can put the entrance to the bathroom via the, the sort of bed area there. You know what I mean? And we can put like the bed in the corner too. So let's go ahead. You might be able to hear a little bit of the vacuum of Samara vacuuming Miku. Miku who dropped off. Uh... Oh, there we go. Framed cat photo. There we go. That's perfect. That's Miku. We're going to give him a little picture of Miku to boost. There you go. Perfect. Look at that. A little picture of Miku. A little bit of home, you know? A little bit of homey vibes. All right, so let's go ahead and is there like a oh that's a bit of a big plant we don't want a big plant all right let's do the bathroom the bathroom real quick what do you guys call it bathroom or washroom i'm curious because i feel like it depends where you are fr from the world right i'll read super chats in just a bit as well appreciate all the support for real thank you guys i appreciate you where's what does sconce wave mean I don't even know what a sconce is, man. They're tripping me out. Okay, so we need to do wall tiling. We gotta just choose something. I feel like these ceramic gray tiles would be good. Let's put this down here. And then we gotta hold, switch the tiling. I don't know how to do this. Press to pick up a tile. Now you can put the tiles on the wall. Oh. Oh. Do we like this? I don't know if we like this. So that was just the straight up ceramic gray tile squares. Let's pick up this over here. You can only do one at a time. That's next level. Let's pick that up. Let's do this one. I don't like that one either. Is there just like a modern looking one? Like ceramic tiles, blue, orange. You gonna do me like that game? You gonna have no tiles I like? Ceramic tiles, white and orange. Let's throw those down maybe. That one's looking better maybe. Can we just have white tiles? Is that so hard? Or should we just have white walls? We don't need tiles on the walls, do we? Should we just paint them white? I think that we should go with... Maybe we should just paint the inside of the bathroom white, do tiling on the floor. Right? You know what I mean? Let's throw this down real quick paint let me just make sure that we can do that oh yeah that works like we don't need a tile there right like let's do that and then we can just do it on the floor
My bathroom doesn't have tiles. Unless it's in the shower, then the shower does, you know what I mean? Maybe a gray would be nicer. I gotta like sell all these tiles, man. Half tiled, half paint? That's not a bad idea. Alright, we're gonna figure it out. Let me paint it first and then we'll figure it out. Wallpaper might be nice as well. All suggestions are welcome. I currently don't like any of the tiles that are available. You won't even notice the white. Don't worry. Relax. Everything will be okay. Everything will be okay, I promise you. Uh, I think we painted everything here. Okay. So let's go ahead and do something real quick. Let me just sell all these tiles and stuff. Get out of my face. Sell the paint too, just in case. And then let's go ahead and finish these tiles, these floor, floor, wall panels, wall tiles. Package your fun. Wallpaper diamond, wallpaper red, wall tiles. I just need floor. Let's just do floor tiles. Floor panels and coverings, floor tiles. Imagine having carpet in the bathroom. That would be so weird, right? That'd be weird, right? I think we already went with these. Let's try this out. That actually doesn't look bad. What do you what do you think? I can give the options again. Do you think that would be a good idea? So you guys could decide. Okay, so th there's those. Yeah, we could put the tiles where the shower is too. That's completely possible. That's one option of the floor. The other one is these. Don't really like those, I'm gonna be honest. So that's out of the question there. The gray we already tried. These little white ones, I don't think they look that great as well. I think this is our best option, I'm gonna be honest. All right, we can go checkerboard. Checkerboard's possible. It just looks ugly. I'm gonna go with that one. I like that one the most. I think the people buying the house will appreciate that too. Okay, so let's do that and let's let's do the bathroom stuff now. So we're gonna go ahead and get let's get a really nice Mountable toilet flatty. What the hell does that mean? Is that the only toilet you can buy? Toilet Let's go with the most expensive one so We're gonna get the mountable toilet. I guess we have to put it there Let's go ahead and do that. Let's assemble the toilet Screw that in there screw that in there we, we, we spare no expense here. There we go. All right, toilet is done. Now, what else do we need? We need a sink and we need a shower. Toilet paper holder. That's pretty important. I feel like it should be right beside you, you know? Just right, just right in reach. We'll do that in a second. We'll do the walls again in a sec too. Don't worry, guys. Uh, so let's do shower. So is that the only shower we could do? Bathroom. I think that is the only shower you could do. It's a mountable shower. Let's mount the shower. What the heck are we doing in the shower here? I've never mounted a shower before. Heads up. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, we're underneath now. I don't know how you get that angle. Screw that in. Okay, that's that's the drain, I believe. Now we gotta connect that to the drain. Perfect. And we gotta settle that down. Put that in. Screw that in. All right, that's I think that's water control. Make it slightly out of reach and then when they buy the house they'll realize it. Oh, you are evil, dude. You are evil. That's some next level evil. Wow, you really have to mount this thing. They, they really don't give it to you, huh? It's a really DIY job. Do it yourself. Okay. And... I think we're done. Oh, no, we're not done. 
What the heck? It never ends. The shower never ends. Oh, we have to screw it all together. I feel like I'm playing Ikea the game. Ikea the game. This is no joke. Are we done now? We're not done now. We're done now. Alright, you know what? It's a nice shower. I'm gonna close myself in here and take a shower. Hey! Nobody watch! Nobody watch! Alright, I'm getting out of here. Alright, we can leave one door open. If we wanted to. We're not gonna do that, though. Uh, and then we gotta go get a sink. So, I just wanna make sure. Type in sink here. Kitchen island with a sink. Oh, snap. I'm looking for, like, a... I think we go with this one. I think that one looks the classiest. Let's go with this one here. There we go. Oh, can we just... Oh, straight up. That's easy. Oh, I saw assemble somewhere. Assemble. There we go. I almost forgot we had to assemble the sink last time. Do we... Do we... Oh, we don't need a carburetor in the bathroom. What was I going to say? Okay, there we go. Let's twist that on. Everything is going perfect right now. Look at that. Yo, if you need me to do handiwork in real life, I got you. I got you. This bathroom... Honestly, the toilet's a little bit of a squeeze. But you know what? That's cool. That's cool. Let's put the toilet paper roll thing there. We're going to be nice, you know? Okay, there we go. I think, I think of the people. You know, what would they think? What would they want in their life? And, and that's what they would want. The toilet paper roll there. Mirror. So we would just want a straight up mirror. Not a sideways mirror. There we go. We can't see ourselves, but we can see that. Now we just need lighting in here. <laughs> the thumbnail had me dying. I'm glad you enjoyed the thumbnail. <laughs> My face photoshopped onto a businessman. Um, and then let's go with, ooh, small fluorescent light. Fluorescent light. Double bathroom sconce. That actually might look good. White, cream, black. Ooh. Let's go with white. Let's go with dark steel here. Are you ready for this? Ooh, ooh. Should we put this here? Doesn't really give you any light though, huh? How do we... Oh. Oh, snap. Let's turn off this light. Dude, this thing lights through other walls. That's how powerful it is. <laughs> it burns. It burns. Do I have to fix the... I can't fix the toilet, man. The toilet's the way it is, bro. That's the way it's gonna be. Can we put, like, a towel rack holder thing? Towel. Like, I want to put this, but... You really can't. Like, there's no option to put it down. Um, it would probably be under, like, other if there was more stuff for the bathroom, right? Maybe, like, a laundry basket in there. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Put a candle in there, you know? For purposes. Yeah, I, f I feel like... Any home electronics. Computer Phoenix. That looks like an ATM machine. Why would I want my ATM machine... In the bathroom. That'd be pretty lit. For no reason. Like, there would be no reason for it, but... <laughs> yeah, this is a new house that I bought, so... Pretty exciting. Plumbing on the toilet? How do I do the plumbing on the toilet? If there's plumbing on the toilet, I don't think I can do it. I'm pretty sure I mounted it already. I think we're good. I did assemble the toilet. Were you guys not here? I'm pretty sure I assembled the toilet, didn't I? Like, I'm 99% sure I assembled the toilet. There's no option to, anyway. Oh, is there a mat? Oh, yeah, mat would be a good idea. Mat. <laughs> okay, no mat. I'm sorry. What would it be under? Would it be under uh, other still? 
Would it be under survival, bro? It's under survival, man. Food container, bro. We could put a gun in the bathroom. First aid kit wouldn't be bad. An air gun. Can of chickpeas. Toilet paper. Put a roll of TP right here on the on the windowsill, man. If you need it. Oh, we should put a candle behind there. Uh, I reassembled it. Yeah, yeah, I'm right. I'm right, I'm right, I'm right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, we're going to put a... A doormat wouldn't really fit. If there was some sort of mat so you could put your feet on after the shower, I'd appreciate that. I'm a big fan of that. Uh, but we're going to put a laundry basket here, I think. Is there no nut color here? I don't think there's a nut color. I think the laundry basket would go nicely right here. What do you think? So, like, you do your business. You take your shower. Toss it in the laundry basket, and then you're good to go. There we go. I think this bathroom looks incredible. Some tile, though, wouldn't be bad, like, behind the shower. Alright, let's throw down the towel now. Let's throw down the towel. Wait, that doesn't even... What am I saying? Let's throw down the towel. I can't wall tile only a portion of it, though. I gotta go all the way to the top, unfortunately. Honestly, it looks good the way it is, man. It's under rugs. Okay, hold up. R rugs? Okay, I gotta go under all and then type in rugs. Is there just a rug section? Rug. Carpet? Oh, there's carpets. Where are these items? I don't even know where they are. I swear I haven't seen half of these. The towel rack? I don't think we can put like the towel anything there. Um, carpets. Ooh, okay, so there's some smaller carpets that we can get. You guys are correct. Ooh, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Bro, that feels so nice when you put your little feet when you put your little feet on them, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that's the wrong one. Never mind. Bro, you lied. You lied, game. I just want like a small little carpet for my feet, man. How about this one? I want to come out of the shower and be appreciated. Honestly, that's like it looks like Gucci, does or it looks like Versace. That looks like some Versace stuff going on. I don't know about that. How about this one? These carpets are so massive. I want just a small little carpet, bro. Just a small little carpet. Oh. Maybe we could do like. Okay, that looks pretty cool, right? Can we be honest? That looks pretty cool, right? I think that looks pretty sweet. You come out of the shower. I know the shower is like a little bit. Don't worry. When somebody uses it, they'll come out properly. I think that looks good. Okay. So we have the bathroom set. I think the bathroom looks good the way it is. I don't think we got to touch anything about it. You know what? We're going to add a candle. We're going to add a candle. I'm going to add a few candles here. Is there a nut candle? There ain't a nut candle. There we go. There we go. Put a little candle there. Put a candle big. We're going to add a big candle too. We're going to make it like a little three design here. Look at that. We have candles on candles right there. Beautiful, beautiful experience. Is there a trash can? If we can get a trash can, that would be trash. Can? Nah, there's no trash can, unfortunately. We can get a can of tuna in the bathroom, but I feel like that's not what you guys want to go for. Okay. Oh, we need to put a door. We also need to put a door. A door? So let's get an interior door. Internal door. Should we just get a white door? I want to go in. Oh, there we go. We could just do a nice white door. But I mean, then it's all white everything. But I mean, you don't want really the door to match. I feel like a white door is just normal. 
Like most people have white doors. Like this one looks way too formal for a bathroom. I'd cry myself to sleep. Why is it that color? <laughs> I'd cry. So we're going to go ahead and just buy a normal one here. And we're going to go ahead and close it up here. There we go. Welcome to the bathroom. Behind the bathroom door is the laundry basket. We have a bathroom, toilet, mirror. We got toilet paper. We got candles. We got a beautiful shower here. Excellent. All right, there we go. So that is completed there. We have this beautiful section over here with Miku on. <laughs> uh, why is that so funny? I don't know why that's so funny. Let's put a book. Uh, people want bookshelf. Deep psychology, the secrets, the rare plants, ancient civilizations. Here. We're going to put ancient civilizations up in this. You got to read, bro. You got to be knowledgeable. We get, the people looking at this house, they're going to be smart people, bro. There we go. All right. They got a book there. They got the little cat thing on the side. All right. We can't move the sink anymore. The sink has to be in that spot. All right. Now, honestly, what we could do, we had the bachelor pad idea. We don't have to do that. Uh, we could do like a sliding door. A lot of people are saying sliding door to the bedroom, which wouldn't be the worst idea ever. It honestly would look pretty cool, but I'm going to leave it up to you guys. All right. I don't know if I should do like a Twitter poll or something. Why is it so buggy? So it would be something like this to get into the bedroom. Do you think that's a good idea or no? I want to make a modern kitchen as well. We don't need a closet, bro. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Can you mow the lawn in this game? Some people are saying mow the lawn. All right. So this is what I'm going to ask simply. Just yes or no. Sliding door to the bedroom. Yes or no. That's it. Let me know. I don't want to leave that door open because that looks pretty sweet. I thought there was like two settings. I'm seeing a lot of no's though. Okay, now for the kitchen here. I don't think for the kitchen you need like too much stuff. I feel like this over here should be like the living room area. I'm getting a lot of conflicting responses. A lot of conflicting responses here. But I, I'm seeing a lot of yeses. I kind of like my modern idea though. Kind of like the modern idea, I'm not going to lie. Um, There's a cutting board. No book of recipes. Blah, 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 blah. Looking through here. I think we got to do with the kitchen stuff now. We, once we do with the kitchen, I feel like we can then do a bunch of other stuff. Modern hanging cupboard. Oh, wow. Oh, you'd have to put that on like a wall. Yeah, you'd have to put that on a big wall. Like that could be the kitchen. The kitchen could be this back area here. But then where would be the... I feel like the kitchen should be its own like divider. So like maybe complete T-shaped kitchen furniture with oven and sink. Oh no, that's not gonna fit here. Oh, that's def Holy smokes, bro! What kind of pad do you think I'm working with here, Jeremy the Fourth? This might work actually. This is a bit large, a bit too large though. Maybe if we did like in this corner, maybe. No, it's a bit too large. Yeah, this this one's. This one's a bit too husky for me, man. So maybe we we'll go with, uh, how about this one? This one seems smaller. Ooh. Oh, that's not bad at all. The problem is that, like, it just takes up a lot of space. I mean, again, we could do it in, like, this corner. Could do it in this corner. Have everything we need here and then put, like, a fridge over here or something. I don't know. There's a lot of different kitchen island with sink. Oh, that might be good. 
we did something like this here. And then that could also be the place that we eat, you know? So that's totally possible. Um, can you set with oven, with heating plate? Like, the oven thing really helps. Nah, the oven thing doesn't help. I lied. Screw the oven, man. How about the Andy one? Oh, that's not bad. It's not bad at all. Alright, so you gotta work with me here, ladies and gentlemen. This is gonna be tough no matter what, because a lot of people are gonna have different ideas. A lot of people are gonna be thinking different things. And I gotta work with all y'all ideas. That looks pretty sweet. Make a gaming setup. A gaming setup would be pretty awesome. Hey man, this is a small bachelor pad. It's not like we have 50 rooms, so we gotta make do with what we got, you know? We gotta make do with what we got. So do we need, I think we do need like a, a stove. Oh, but do these just go on top? That might work perfectly. We just need like a, like a gas stove that we can put on top. Cause, okay, so what do you guys think? So we need a gas, we need a stove. We need a, we need a stove. We need a refrigerator. We need a sink. Is that about it? And a microwave. That's it. Stove, refrigerator, sink. I think island with the sink. I think I'm going to go with that one too, man. Induction cooktop. Yo, they are way more expensive than that. Why are you lying, game? That works too, actually. The induction. It cooks with magnets. If you guys didn't know that. That's pretty sweet. Cooking with magnets, not by the bathroom, bro. There, there, this is a four by four almost room. We don't have much space here. We can't really have anything else. I think by the bathroom is where it's got to be. Unfortunately, like I wish we had more space, but can you cross platforms in Fortnite? Uh, PS4 and PC can. Uh, the other ones can't yet. Microwave oven. Let's just see how big this is. So is there only one one microwave? I feel like we need a microwave. Yeah, I think the island with sink is going to be the best one. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I don't want to put it by the bathroom, but we don't have much room for what we want. So I think island with sink is going to be our best bet. I think that's what we're going to have to go with here, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of you like it, though, so I'm going to agree with you guys. Is it tilted though? No, that's straight. Okay, that's straight there. That looks good there because you can eat there as well. I think that looks good. By the bathroom's unsanitary. Bro, close the door to the bathroom, man. Some of y'all must live in huge houses. I've seen plenty of places with stuff by the bathroom, man. You got it. Sometimes you got to make things work, bro. Okay, we're going to do the gas stove here. Ah, really? Oh, that works out. Really not going to have much counter space, though, huh? Um, have an electric cooker? Ooh, we can put an electric cooker in, but it's just going to be way taller than the... It's going to be way taller. What about a gas stove? I don't know. Maybe maybe I just may I just make my own then. Cuz I don't know if I like that very much. There's not many island options though. Island kitchen island with heating plate. Oh, that one looks pretty cool. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of it. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I'm trying to make things work over here. Switch the bedroom and the kitchen. Man, I think this way works. I do think this way works. 
Okay, how is it gonna work with the? Let, let's get the refrigerator first. I know that I'm I'm, be, I'm working a little bit backwards, but how many refrigerators do they got here? Does this one look cool? All right, that's a proper refrigerator. I'm gonna be real with you. I'm a fan. Um, what's the difference between this one and the refrigerator stack? Oh wow, that one's ugly from behind though. You need to put that one directly against the wall. I mean, we could switch. So we could... Uh, no, we can't. Th this is the only way the bathroom is going to work. Because to my knowledge from playing this game for the two episodes that I have, you can't change where the shower is and stuff once you buy a house. So, like, that has to be there, essentially. That has to be there. Refrigerator mono. What color should I go with here? That's kind of a small refrigerator. That's not bad looking. Yeah, I can't really move the door because the other side doesn't have much space. So you guys know what I'm saying? I feel like dark brown would actually look quite nice here too. No, I don't like that. We're going to go with the refrigerator mono. And then we'll go with the steel look here. Yeah, we gotta do the front and back doors still. Oh, there's some dirt here. How did it get dirty there? Nobody else is in here besides me. Oh, this is perfectly clean. Cabinets above the island. I'm trying to line it up perfectly with the wall. Because I'm trying to make the use of this space, right? So that's as good as that's going to go. There's dirt in the bathroom? I don't see dirt in the bathroom. If there is, I can't see it. I don't think you can take the radiator off. Like, again, maybe I'll, I'll do some research into it, but I feel like some of the stuff has to stay. Alright, y'all telling me this doesn't look pretty decent? Come on. Come on. How about this one? Inlets. Oh, that's only up there. We can cut it off a bit, too. Like, we can... We can uh, build this above. Move the back door. I don't think you can move the back door. Face it the other way? I don't think that's how it works. You can't move the bathroom door near the thing, because you can't move this stuff. I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna be honest. This is our first home, man. Our first home, man. Turn and bath behind the door. Oh, now I see it. Thank you. There we go. There we go. Everybody likes it clean. Turn on all these lights. Boom! All the lights are on. It is so bright in here. Okay. Let's let's take out this. Alright. So let's go ahead and put a stove top on now. I know some of you might not agree, but I feel like we gotta do this for our first house. You know, we get we gotta make things work with what we got here. We don't got a lot to work with here. Alright, there's that. And then we can put a microwave somewhere if we wanted to. Mountable washer wouldn't be bad too. Like, this place doesn't have a washing... Washing machine. I just want to throw that out there. So we have that stove as well. So the kitchen's pretty set, I think.
the bachelor pad. The bachelor pad. I mean, we could make a wall. We could make a wall and close it off and put the kitchen there. Yeah, it's a bachelor pad, bro. It's it's not going to be super fancy living. Let's be real. Let's see what couches we can get here, too. Okay, I feel like... Oh, jeez. It's a bit huge. That is a bit huge for this place. We need a smaller couch. Turn the island and fridge around. I mean, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Do you guys think that... Okay, should it be facing this way? Or should it be facing this way? So, towards the... So, just type in bedroom is this way. Or bathroom is this way. Just type bedroom or bathroom. Look at the installation tab. I looked at that, but if, if you buy it, man, it doesn't doesn't do anything. Like, if I buy this radiator, I can't just jam another radiator on the wall. It has to have a radiator sort of, like, pre-plugged in there. You know what I mean? Need a closet or a dresser? What would we... If we... Can we get a dresser? Dresser really wouldn't work, would it? I mean, you could have put a dresser right here if you wanted to. Why do the words bedroom and bathroom have to look so similar? I'm seeing more bathrooms than bedrooms. I think, man. The words just look so similar. <laughs> Alright, if you want it this way, the way it is right now, type 1. If you want it this way, the way it's not right now, type 2. There we go. I think that we shouldn't switch, personally. Okay, now I want to get a carpet. Maybe not a cream one. A nice beige carpet would be nice. It would be nice to have in the bedroom, honestly. Like, that looks pretty sweet. Doesn't it? I wish it extended the whole way through, but... I think we can make it classy there. Alright, let's go with sofa. Yeah, I think most people want to keep it the way it is right now, I think. I mean, it's about like 50-50. Let's be real. Sofa L. Leather, navy, black leather. That's a fat couch, dude. Is there any less fat couch? That one's better. I think we should just go with it like that. Again, this is a bachelor pad. This isn't going to be our best house ever. This isn't going to be our worst house ever. It's our bachelor pad. So where are we going to put the TV and stuff? This is my hard part that I'm trying to think of right now. Let's get the TV stand. Let's go TV stand. TV cabinet. Ooh, oh, that looks amazing. Is there a nut version? There's no nut version, but uh, we can go with, like, alder. Alder looks pretty nice. I think that we should, like, put it against there, maybe. Alder matches the bed, so that's why I want to put it. So let's get that down. Alright, then let's get a TV. TV. So we're just going to get a TV over here. $710. Ooh. Ooh. Those are money. Okay. So we have that. Do we have like a game? Game. Console. We need a console. Console. Be home appliances. Bro, we gotta we gotta put our we gotta put our uh, <laughs> we gotta put our microwave on the TV stand. I'm just kidding. We could have a computer and stuff though, if we really wanted to. Loudspeaker. Where does that go? Oh. Oh, that's pretty awesome. So we get loud. Oh, or we can get the standard ones. 
We could put those there. Okay. So anyway, let's go ahead and go with couch. I mean, we could go with like a, a poof. Should we go with poofs or should we go with couch? Like chairs, you know what I mean? We can get a poof. A poof is completely a reliable form of seating, you know? Like we can literally, if we wanted to, throw down two poofs and call it a day. We could throw down two poofs and call it a day. That would be the ultimate bachelor pad. When you're in the bathroom, just leave it open so you can watch TV. Oh my goodness. That's so great. Yeah, this is the smallest house ever, but you know what? We're making it work. Put a TV in the bathroom. I've seen a lot of people say poof. Poof! Let's let's try the couch here. Couch. Oh wait. Couch. Where are the couches at? Sofa. Why do they got to use all the different names, man? We can do a nice small... Oh, this one looks exactly like the one I had in my old apartment. The problem is, like, over here, there's not enough room to have the couch in the... What we could do is, like, put the couch here against this wall. Have the TV float over here a little bit. You know what I mean? Let me go ahead and move this real quick. I wonder if you can move it and then keep everything on top. I don't want to mess with the radiator though too. <laughs> Looks like a fire hazard, I'm gonna be honest. Cause if I put it here, that would be a little bit too far if I put a couch on the opposite wall, right? I won't forget I won't forget the Oh, the TV's backwards. I won't forget the doors, don't worry. Like if I put the couch back here, that'd be a bit too far, right? A lot of people saying poof it, poof it, poof it, poof it, poof it. Because I'm saying what we could do is put the couch over here, maybe. That's not enough room to walk, though. We could put the couch there. That's like a proper distance, though, right? I feel like that's actually a good distance right there. Okay, so. I think that would be perfect, honestly. You're overthinking it. This is what I do, bro. This is, I overthink. It's a talent of mine. I'm the overthinker. So you can put that one there. We can throw some poofs for the kids, you know? A lot of people are saying just poof it. Put a poof and a couch. Mine's further, but it's a 65 inch. Jeez. Look at that TV on over there. I mean, we could throw it on a couch and then have a coffee table. Right? Is there a black version of this? There's no black version of this couch. I actually like that couch, too. Maybe like uh, leather, black leather. If you're too close, you'll go blind. Oh my goodness. I feel like the black leather couch doesn't really match anything. Let me let me just keep going here. Coffee table. Table. It would just probably be under tables, right? Wouldn't be under desks, I don't think. Tables. So there's coffee tables here. Oh, that one looks stunning. That 401. I like I like the beach. There's also a nut looking one. I think beach matches with that one. So we could do this and then put the coffee table right here. There isn't any living room. What if some girls come by? Shut up, Todd. A TV in the living room. Awesome. What a lovely living room. All right, so it looks like we have some people that are very, very, very into the place. Some people that um, are not into the place. All right, there we go. Can we get like a remote, like a TV remote or something? 
a laptop. Remote. Lap. Top. Let's see home electronics. What could we put on there? We could put a keyboard and mouse if he wants to like do stuff on there. $70 keyboard. Holy smokes. Just in case he wants to, you know, game on there. Or should we just put... That looks nice, right? Like, like, be honest. Remember what this started as? This is a nice bachelor pad. Who would want to live here? Who would want to live here? We could put walls if we want to, but I feel like that would make it feel tight, you know? It would make it feel too tight. Table too close to the sofa. Here, we'll move it a little bit. House looks comfy. It does look comfy, right? Okay, the microwave. We need the microwave. Because this is a bachelor pad. I said we put the microwave like on this little... We can put it like right here and then we can use the other side as like a place to eat. The microwave is jacked though. Holy smokes, this microwave is huge. This is our battle station, boys. This is the gaming, the gaming streaming battle station. We should make a gaming streaming setup. Uh, let's get chairs though. A bar chair would be nice. Uh, uh, it's a little too too high up, I I think, for what we're going for here. Maybe just like some chair Alan. Maybe that one. I don't like the way it looks like it's gonna go skiing, bro. What what's up with that? I like this one. Black, gray. Okay, that one's nice. It's a bit too like maybe white would look good actually. Or like gray. Maybe a gray. A gray would look nice. Or a white. Let's go with white. On top of the fridge. Like, I want to get stools. I do want to get stools. Like, 100%. But the only stool is, like, really, really huge looking. This chair of Henry looks dope, but not, not exactly what I would think here. Put a poof in front of the table. Oh, that one looks classy. I mean, again, we only need one chair let's go with this one let me go with one chair here. this is where we eat man you're not you're not moving here with your family let me just tell you that this is where you move solo bro you spread your wings and fly away spread your wings and fly away yeah if the stream's lagging for you just hit the refresh hit the refresh and you should be gucci now is there in terms of other we can put a bunny if we wanted to. We can put a clock. I'm a fan of the clock. Where should I put the clock though? Oh. The clock looks kind of tacky actually. I mean, you kind of need to know what time it is though. The house is giant. They said the property is giant. So you know what? I think they were correct. The property is pretty huge. Ooh, a knife stand. In case you need to be chopping some things up over here. I feel like the knife stand is a bit too much there. Alright, I think this looks good. Let's turn on the lights here. Did we want the lights like this? I think this might be great. Like, this looks so much better than before. Let's put a... We still gotta do the outside, don't forget, okay? Don't forget. Living room with kitchenette. Oh, it does. Oh. It, it says all living room with kitchenette, doesn't it? Put the microwave on top of the fridge. You got to be shacked to reach that, man. Floor under the hamper isn't clean. I already got that, I think, buddy. I think you're good. All right, so we need doors. But the doors got to be outside doors. So the front door... All right, I'm going to leave it up to you. White or brown for the front door? Let me know your thoughts. I think the white motif might be working for us, so. 
I think the white door might be a good choice. You know what? I'm not even I'm not even gonna argue with it. I think it looks good. The white door there. And then let's go with this one as well. There we go. Alright. Doors on doors. This is the pad right now. This is the pad. Alright, are we missing anything? Anything you guys think I should add? Small things, big things, let me know. We could do... I don't think it'll work very well. I was going to say we could do like a desk over here in the corner. It would kind of work. A desk in a corner with like a laptop and stuff. That wouldn't be a bad idea. We should put uh, maybe a carpet underneath the, the coffee table. Maybe. Get a mini fridge. It's the best thumbnail you ever made. Thank you, Barbara. <laughs> Thank you, Barbara. We could put a ceiling fan, but I feel like a ceiling fan is a little bit tacky. A little bit tacky. Uh, ch -ch 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 I think it looks good. I don't think we can add pillows. I'm going to be honest with you. I think the pillows is out of the question. We could add a knife, a cucumber, a sewer grate. Where's the carpet at, though? What is, what is that under? Carpets. There we go. Oh, we can give it that nice little... Look, we can go vibing, bro. We can go vibing. Oh, I didn't know it was this small. I, could, I should just put that here. Oh, that looks so much better. Look at that. I like. It adds a little color to it. I like it. I like it. It's like a little bit of fun, you know? It's a little bit of fun. And then carpet lengthwise, colorful. Like a little bit of carpet might go a long way here. The door is backwards? Oh, shoot. The, what, did the, what happened with the back door, man? How do, I, how do I do the back door properly, bro? Oh, we don't need a knocker on the back door either. So let's just do... I guess that's the only option. So, where's the knocker here? Why'd I sell it? I could have just flipped it. Mother! What? Ugh! So annoying, door. I have to sell it again? How do you do it? How do you do the back door? This is ridiculous. Okay, wait, 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 wait. One second, an angle here. Okay, there, there, there. Okay. So now we just gotta flip it. I'm so silly. All I have to do is this the whole time. Why can't I... <clears throat> if I go this way, it makes me... It lets me go the whole way. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, like it lets me go the whole way. Problem is the knocker is there. You know what? Screw it. We can't do the sliding door at the back. Let's just do an indoor door for the outdoor back door. What did I just say? Let's do an indoor door for the indoor back door. You know what I'm saying? Do an indoor door for the indoor back door, baby. There we go. We don't need a knocker. We don't need a knocker at the back. Okay, perfect. Let's do it. It's an open house, baby. Everybody come visit. All right. Two poofs in front of the table. Do we need the poofs? Do we actively need the poofs? Ceiling lamps. I feel like we could we could do like a we could do like these in the kitchen and it would look really proper. Just let me let me try, okay? Let me let me try. Nobody judge me yet. I think that it's a really good idea. But I want you guys to trust me. I just want to see the difference between these two as well. I kind of like the other one. So we're going to go ahead and let's sell this one. 
And just give me a second to work this out, alright? I'm a big fan of these, these halogen lamps. So let's go ahead and sell this. Perfect. Let's go ahead and grab this. We can even add them to the outside of that. Oh, they would look so good on the outside of the house. Need some color and paint. We're going for like a really modern look, so. No color and paint here. Let's count how many squares. One, two, three. Okay, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to go with seven between each. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I feel like that's the vibes right there. That's the vibes right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think that looks good. I think it should be above the kitchen cabinets, maybe. Let me let me let me try one more thing here too. We can go something crazy like this. I mean, that's just. I, I feel like that's just getting a little bit too wild. That's just getting a little bit too wild. A little bit too ambitious there. Let's sell that. I like I like the pot lights, man. I like the pot lights. Okay, so what else do we need to do? We need to do the outside of the house. Can we add pot lights to the outside of the house? Let's try this. No, that would look so good. Need some plants? Honestly, some plants would be pretty spruzy in here. Is there, is there a plant section? Oh, there is. Ooh, the Dracana. Oh! <gasps> There's a cactus! Blue, we're just gonna go with the white here, look. Oh my! Look at this beautiful, beautiful plant. Look at that beautiful plant. That plant life. Alright, so we gotta paint the... The back door is not backwards anymore. It's right way now. Where are the flowers, bro? I just put down a flower, all right? I don't want to hear it. What's the monstera? Monstera. Oh, that's a big old plant, girl. Girl, you like them big old plants. Put a plant right in your way. Put a plant on top of the fridge. All right, anything else that I'm thinking of inside here? Add a couple plants to the table. If there's a really small plant, I'll put it on the table. <gasps> Ooh, that one's nice. Now that's too big. That's too big. This one here might be good. Plant green. Oh, God. Why is this so ugly? They're all so ugly. Yeah, it's just straight up ugly. Let's just put some, let's just put some books over here. Dude, I, I'm living in a Canadian household. There's no guns in this house. Okay, guys? There's no guns in this house. We can add a bunny. The bunny kind of scares me, though. I'm going to be real with you. I don't want to add the bunny. I don't want to add the bunny because it kind of scares me. Low key, high key. The teapot, bro, we can add, though. Why can't I put the teapot on the stove? Isn't that where everybody keeps the teapot? Baby bed? This is a bachelor pad. There's no babies. You need some coasters? Some coasters would be nice. Oh, we should just get a vase. A vase, man. Just a vase over here. I'm just kidding. We don't need a vase. Okay, let's just get some books and we're good. Some books and we're good. So let's get a... Let's get a red and blue book. That's it. Red book. Or no, no. Let's... let's The rare plants. I feel like that, that chick would like that. Let's get a book that says the rare plants. We're going to leave one book there, and then the other book is going to be um, The Secrets. Ooh. Let's 
going to be a book about gaming secrets. There we go. So we got some books over there. All right. I think we are good. I think we are good here. All right. So we can do the outside. The lock is on the outside. What? You know what, bro? That's the way it's supposed to be. Wait, maybe the other one's wrong. Okay, that one's right. Oh, this one's wrong. This door is going to be the enemy. I'm going to literally lose my top over this one. How do you people notice these little things? Because then they annoy me so much. Okay, this one. To lock it from the outside. So this is the way it's got to be. Got to be this way. Why can't I put it in? There we go. There we go. A little bit more. A little bit more. Alright, there we go. Alright, so that's right now. That's right. Because you can lock it from the inside. There we have it. Okay, we're going to put a little... Can we put a... Can we put a mat on the outside? Is that possible, game? Mat. Welcome. No? What would it be under? It would be under... Um, what would it be under? I like how a bunk bed's under survival. Wouldn't be under carpet, would it? What's the other word for carpet? I can't even think of it. <laughs> What's the other word for carpet? Is there another word for carpet? Survival. Blah, 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 blah. Where are the carpets at? Where's the carpets at? There's no remote. You can't put a remote. It's not that one either. I didn't feel so. It's right under carpet. God, I need to take a long hot shower, guys. But where's the welcome mat? Bro, I must be going insane. Rug. Rug is the word. Yes, you are correct. Okay, the doormat. Tell me why I can't put the doormat. It looks so dirty though, doesn't it? Do we want that? Do we want a doormat? Yes or no? Let me know. I mean, we can have a doormat. It just doesn't... I mean, it looks okay. It doesn't look bad. How close is it to the... It's about one or two squares off. There we go. So we have welcome mats. Honestly, this place looks brilliant. This place looks brilliant. Yeah, rug was the word I was looking for. All right, one more carpet fixture thing I'm going to add. I didn't I didn't like this pattern floor thing. Although like it doesn't look too bad when you Like it doesn't look bad there. Look bad over there either, but I, I'm not gonna go with that. Carpet striped actually looks really sick, but I'm not gonna go with that either. Carpet dandelion, what the heck? What the heck? You can get a red carpet if you wanted to. If you want to be all fancy, you want to be fancy, fancy, fancy. Uh, carpet gray. Oh, oh, honestly, yo, what do you guys think of the gray carpet? I think it really complements everything. Look at that. Look at that. That looks so good. Now, how about if we throw a gray carpet over there, too? All right. I think this house looks incredible. Anyone would be a fool not to purchase it. We just gotta do the outside. So how do we do the outside? Let's just make it a brick house. Should we make it a brick house? So it would be wall panels or wall tile. It would be wall panels. What kind of houses are around here? Let me let me just see them. They all kind of have the side paneling. Maybe we should just get this. Let's get the side paneling. Is that a thing? 
Package of panels outside white. Let's try this out. This is going to take freaking forever, isn't this? How do I... Oh, oh, okay. Oh, that looks way better. All right, let's do this. We're a handyman. It's honestly way better than I thought it would be. It takes way less time than I thought. All right, one just disappeared, but I'm not going to fret about it. Side paneling looks good. All right, I'll be done in 10 years, guys, so don't worry. <laughs> 10 years later, I'll be done. We just need to buy like 50 of these things. They're gonna be like, wow, they really fixed up that old Johansson's house, didn't they? Yeah, it was that typical gamer guy. I subscribed to him over on YouTube. He's a real great fella. Oh, there we go. So, so this would be paneling, right? So I want to do the paneling one. So 50% faster paneling. That's what I'm doing right here. All right, because we're going to pan away, man. We're going to pan away. Here we go. Apparently, I, there we go. Oh, that was the pick it up. I'm so silly. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That was faster. Ho! We've become a madman. Hyo! 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 Oh, yeah. We are killing it now. We're killing the game. Take that, panels. Paneling isn't that bad, actually, when you get used to it. Just takes a while. Faster than painting. So I won't complain. Again, if you lag on YouTube, ladies and gentlemen, just hit the refresh button, refresh the page, and you will probably, it'll probably fix most every problem you have. It's a bit annoying sometimes, but uh, not on my end, so there's that. We've been doing this for two hours? What? What in tarnation? All right, so we did all that. Let's go ahead and... Oh, goodness. I put them a little bit far away now. I be ten... I be doing all this stuff. Now I can. I think I'd hire somebody at this point to help me out with this. I'd be like, I just need a little bit of help, man. All this paneling is really dampering my Sunday, bro. I missed the piece? Oh, wow. That would have been horrible. I would have hated myself. Let me just tell you that. It's okay. We, we, we only have half the house more to do. All right. Now, can you mow the lawn? Does anybody know the answer to that question? Can you mow the lawn? Can you mow the frickin' lawn? Can you mow a lawn? Flip or flop, the new show by TG. Flippity or floppity. These are annoying, the ones above the windows. If you didn't have to do the ones above the windows, I'd be done already, I think. Remember to hit that like button if you're enjoying the video. Subscribe if you are new. My guy doesn't sleep, by the way. He's essentially a robot. There's a llama. Yeah, there's a llama. I'm sure there is. Okay, so we've done about half the house right now. What other ones? So there, those are the only ones outside that you can do? Can you, like... I guess you can get, like, the brick panels outside, of course. Dark brick is a potential. 
Huh, there's, there's lots of potential. Let me just say that. There's lots of potential. Let me go ahead and buy another package of outside panels here. Make a driveway and a garage. This is a bachelor's pad, man. We, we don't got money to afford that. How much money? So we've spent $5,000 on this place in addition to purchasing it, right? 5,000 bucks we've spent. Again, if you lag, hit, hit the refresh button and you'll be good. I got the perk to do this 50% faster, so there's that. We're gonna do all the top parts at once because they're fairly annoying to do. I hate how it switches off your tool here too. I think this is the final piece that we need before we sell it. Imagine nobody buys it. But but I, I put so much hard work into it. They're like, we really actually don't care. They're like, can you remove the paneling and put brick? I just start twitching. I'm like, wait, wait, what, 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 what do you mean? I do like how he can um, put floors down in an instant, but tiling, he's like, nope. We gotta, we gotta really go in for the long haul here. There we go. Yeah, changing the door might be a good idea now. Maybe. All right, this side's all done. Oh, that's a little unfortunate. We can't uh, put it on that little wooden part there. It's all good. The less windows are, the happier I am. The lawn needs to be cut. I know. Yeah, that needs to be an option, man. Oh, wait, what? You can just click it. I didn't know that. I was holding it down every time. Oh, I can go way faster now. I'm speedy now. I'm speedy now. It's so funny how it uses the same amount, whether it's small or not. I didn't forget any spots now, I don't think. I really hope we can sell this place for like a huge profit. I don't want to go back to like fixing people's rooms and stuff. I want this to be my career, man. I worked hard for it. I put in the hours. I'm dedicated to the craft. I'm dedicated to the craft, man. Oh, I got a new handyman skill. So if we go over here, faster tiling and paneling, 100%. Boom! You guys ready for this? Ho! Oh, you put it on instantly! There we go. So that's as fast as it will ever be. I can never do it faster than this. Which is pretty darn fast if you ask me. I'm on autopilot now. You can catch me outside. Paneling like a beast. I'm gonna apply to be a panelist. Oh, there we go. All right, last side. Last side of things. Let's make sure that we didn't miss anything. It's looking good. We got blinds. We got everything done over here. We just need to do this side. All right. It's time to double time. We're working to overdrive now. Working to overdrive. Here we go. We don't stop. We don't stop. We don't stop. Nope. Not today. Not today, baby. We do all the hard parts first. So that we can enjoy the, the easy parts. I feel like I should have bought like 20 of these, but... Then I'd have to move them around, so I'm glad I only bought a few at a time.
That one didn't go through. Yeah, no, I can't do anything about the lag, unfortunately. It's it's not on my end, it's on YouTube. So if you're lagging, the best thing I can suggest is refreshing, but if that doesn't fix it, it might just be a little storm that needs to pass. You know what I'm saying? Done! The house is done! Oh, boy. Look at this place. Look at this place. I can't take out weeds. Oh, maybe I'll... Oh. Okay, that was the last ditch effort. I don't think you can... I don't think you can take out the weeds in this game. Using the broom was my last thing that I thought... You missed the back? Above the back door? Oh! Snap! Y'all are smart. Boom! 55, 82. Alright! I think we're good now. What do you think, chat? Let me know. So if we wanted to sell it, we could hit the F button. But let's do a little tour of my first house I've ever bought. I wish I had a before and after picture to show you guys. I guess I guess we'd have to just go back in the stream and look at that. That would be the before and after. So, oh wait, we could do this flooring out here, can't we? Let me see something real quick. So it would be floor panels and covering. I don't think, no, it doesn't work out here. It doesn't work out here, unfortunately. So I guess you're kind of left with those. So I think we're perfect now. I think we're perfect here. The backyard looking a little bit, looking a little bit messy, but that's okay. You can't build walls back here or else I would. I'd extend the house. Nice property size. Look at this. Okay. So then if we go into here, do a nice little tour of the place. So left, we got the bedroom here. Nice uh, little bedroom stands there, or night tables with a book. Little picture of the cat. Nice uh, lamps. You got the nice bed. Mirror over here. Got a flower for those who love flowers. Welcome mat, TV and TV stand. Couch and coffee table. We got the kitchen over here with the oven, with the microwave, an island to eat a refrigerator and we got a bathroom as well what would you rate this house out of 10 i think it's the ultimate bachelor pad i really really do i think we did a great job here and i love the minimal sort of look to it so let, let's see let's see what somebody would pay for it. you guys ready i'm kind of scared let's hit enter and Oh, you can start an auction. You bought the house for $31,446. The house parcel is 944 uh, meters squared. The house has 36.94 meters squared. The house has two rooms. Your current budget is $12,104. You have been working in this house for two hours and 10 minutes. Do we start an auction? Do we start an auction? I'm kind of scared. How about if it... Like... Okay, here, let, let's go here. Let's go to, let's return to the office real quick. Our office looks like garbage compared to that one. Is there, so let me just say, house, flipper, lawn, mower. Yeah, I don't, no, there's no way to cut the, the grass right now. So there's that. There's no way to cut the grass. Yeah, I see what you guys are talking about. Some people... The stream is looking weird. Okay, let me stop it and start it again. Give me one.
All right, let me know if that fixes it. Let me just go over here. So we have this first office here. Ooh. Oh, it tells me. So trash, dispose, items, clean. So it's 98% cleaned. So we bought it for $31,446. We spent $500 in renovation costs and then we purchased $4,000 in furnitures, furniture. And it says that we sold furniture $21,000. That's not right though. Oh, let's go back to that house. If it's still lagging, I'm not sure what to do, but um, it shouldn't be lagging anymore if you guys refresh. Several carpets on the floor can work wonders. Come on, load up. I'm so scared that the game crashes and doesn't save my house or something. Oh, there we go. Okay. It says that it's a little dirty still. I'm curious if there's like a spot that I missed. Why is the music so loud now? Oh, move office here. Holy shoot. The music is so loud. There we go. Is there dirt on this pole? What is dirty? It says something's dirty. All right, this house looks spotless to me. If anyone thinks it's dirty, they're crazy. Now, my question is, do we make this the office or do we sell it? Do we flip our first house? That is the question. Do we flip our first house? Let me know what you think of the buyers over here. Interesting. Oh, it doesn't tell you any information about them. Date of birth, they old man. Let me go to the perks here real quick. I need to do the cleaning ones. The mini map doesn't. Oh, there is one. Oh, okay, I cleaned that. Then it says that there's one right. It says that there's a stain right here. Says there's a stain right here. <laughs> Bro, this stain won't go away. It's not under anything either. Alright, a lot of you guys saying sell it. Oh, there I got it. Is that 100% clean now? Might be 100% clean now. We'll go to the office and check. So let's go return to the office. I'm seeing a lot of people say flip it. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna flip it. We're gonna do it. We going to flip it. Let me just make sure it says 100% clean. Uh. It says 99% clean. <sighs> Look at the before photos, guys. Look at the before photos. Look at this slum that we purchased. All right. 
I said we gotta flip it. Chad wants me to flip it, whip it, kick it. Now I think I think that's what we gotta do. I'm scared though. I'm scared we're not gonna make any profit. But it's a passion project of mine. I put a lot of money and effort into it, and I think a lot of people can appreciate that. I think a lot of people can appreciate that, man. That's what I think. All right, doesn't show any more dirt here, so I have no idea. All right. Let's sell. Let's put it on auction. The top part of the pool in the backyard is dirty. All right, last thing I'm checking. Eh. It looks dirty, but it doesn't do anything. And there's a bit of tree stuck in the wall. It's all good. I don't think we can clean anything else. You can negotiate with the buyer. There's dirt under the hamper. I already got that dirt. There's no dirt anywhere, bro. We cleaned everything. You can negotiate with the buyer. Okay. Let's try it out. More art. I feel like to keep it like... To keep it... Pictures and paintings... I feel like to keep it like, you know, like low key, I don't think we should add more art. I feel like it might fetch more money though if I do. Because the game doesn't appreciate my artistic talent of keeping everything cool. Like it wants me to add a picture of like trees or something. We can add that. Y'all like art? Not a bad picture. We can add more art. Should we add more art? Painting bird in the grass. I need some crazy art, man. I need some modern-ish. This is all some old style. This is like what grandma would have, you know? This is all what grandma would have, dog. Oh, this is pretty modern. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, it boosted them up. Alright, we're just gonna have two photos. That's it. That's it. Alright. Let's kick it. Sell this house. Alright. <laughs> Start the auction. Oh, I feel a bit stranger. I feel a bit poor. I don't understand what I need this kitchen for. Bro, did he just rhyme that to make fun of me? Oh! Holy shoot the bids! $41,000! Holy smokes! $50,000! Raphael going nuts! His only comment is... There is no private space only for myself. $50,000. Oh, we can't negotiate? Oh, can we? Like, bro, you're trying to... High class, a TV in the bedroom. Ooh. What, else, what other things are you going to say? I don't have a place for my magazines. Shut up. No bedroom is a big minus, buddy. There is a bedroom. You suck. No living room is frustrating. You're blind. You're blind. So we would be making, if we sold this house to the highest bidder, we'd be making $15,000. Should we sell it? Should we sell, you can sell it. Can you sell it to anybody? You can only accept it. I can't negotiate for some reason. If I refuse it, will they offer the same thing? I should flip it. Should I flip it? I guess I can't. Let's refuse it for a sec. Oh. You have to pay 1200 for breaking the auction rules.
A lot of people saying refuse it. So refuse or accept. Type it in chat. Keep it or sell it. I don't think I've I don't think I've got negotiation skills yet. They were really they really bit it up. This guy threw in a thirty seven thousand. Get out of here, bro. I feel a bit stranger, a bit poor. Shut up. You don't feel anything. I'm seeing a lot of people say sell it. I put so much effort into it though. <sighs> sell better houses come. I feel like we got to accept that we have to sell them. And that we'll have a beautiful house for ourselves one day. I think that's what we got to do. So ladies and gentlemen, our first flip, we purchased the house for $31,446. We spent $500 renovating the inside and we purchased over $4,000 in furniture. We made some back by selling the previous furniture for $1,600. And then if we sold it to the highest bidder, we would sell it for 50,000 clams, which means in total would mean that we would get $15,000 in profit. We're accepting the offer. We're accepting the offer, baby. <laughs> Accepted. That's it. We've accepted the offer. What's your impression after the first auction? If you would like to check some buyer's details before the next one, I saved your notes about them on the tablet. Oh, perfect. So we have 61,500 to spend now. Now we know a little bit about the buyers as well. Um, so, so we can kind of cater towards them in our next build. So that's pretty exciting with the perks though. We should definitely, um, with negotiation. Oh, okay. So we have to complete three more orders and then we can unlock the price negotiation. I feel like that's going to be pretty, pretty, um, pretty important, but I feel like coming back to our office, man. Like, we, we can't go anywhere else. That house is gone. But coming back to the office, this place feels horrible. This place sucks compared to the other one, right? <laughs> it sucks. We got to tidy this place up. Make sure that it's clean AF. What is going... Is that on the... out? Oh, my... Where did all these stains come from? Were they always here? This place is ratchet, man. This place is ratchet. <laughs> okay, we got to at least make the, the bathroom a bit better, I feel. Where is this? It says it's on the outside. Oh. Is this it? That's one of them. I don't even think that's mentioning the spot that was dirty there. Oh, it's on the freaking... It still hasn't disappeared, so I don't know what that is. There's something dirty going on here. Some, something dirty. Something dirty, dirty. Oh, we got to clean up that on the back. Clean up this on the back. There we go. It's mostly just that stuff. All right. So I sold the place. I feel like a piece of me is missing now, but I feel I feel good about it, man. I feel good about it. I think we did a great job. And I feel like now we have extra capital. We have what 70,000. We have 60,000. $61,000 to work with. $61,000. So we could, if we wanted to, in the next episode, purchase like many generations house. We could purchase that. Like, look at this. It's got a couple bedrooms. It's got a bathroom. It's a pretty big lot as well. So we could, we can move up and up. We can move up and up if we want to do house with an uninvited guest. Oh, that's a big kitchen. So the next one, we can do like a big project if we wanted to. We can do a big project. Man, I feel bad for my office now though. Though My office looks horrible. It looks freaking horrible. Should we... I want to fix it up, but we've been, we've been live streaming for like over two hours of House Flipper. I feel like we got to keep it for the next episodes and stuff. You know what I mean? So we'll keep that for the next episode. 
Uh, I think next episode we'll do some more jobs and we'll we'll tidy up the office. I feel like that's going to be pretty important, especially because we want to level up um, a lot of the a lot of the stats that we've got. Because I don't think we can. I don't think we're allowed. Yeah, we can't really build out this. So, I mean, this is enough space for an office, right? We don't really need anything else. So there's that. So we'll go ahead and work on the office probably next episode. If you watched and enjoyed this video, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you do smack that like button. If you are new around here and you just tuned in, maybe you, you're watching for the first time or you watched a few times and haven't already, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. Do not forget and turn on those post notifications as well. Very, very important. You don't want to miss out on future videos. Trust me. You do not want to miss out. And it's free. It's free, fast, and furious, man. Oh, we got a new cleaning skill. Um, see most dirt on the mini-map. There we go. We're going to upgrade that one. Because uh, I've had enough of... Oh. See, I missed a spot here, too. See? We, we, really, we really almost missed out. I swear more, more dirt is just being added. I just want to throw it out there. I think more dirt is being added. And they're just not telling me about it. This is a freaking conspiracy theory. Oh. Like, I wouldn't have noticed that. All right, all right, you cool, you cool. Yeah, so subscribe for new, like button if you enjoyed it, and I'm gonna go at it and read those super chats now. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, go through the super chats. Um, and let's start over here. So we got, um, who do we got? We got, um, oh my, there's a lot of super chats sorry i didn't read them during the stream guys I, I was just so focused on building my house so i hope you understand uh, i'm gonna go through the sponsors first so we got uh K bro i forgot how to pronounce your name Ka kwaku K i forgot bro kaku big shout out to you thank you for sponsoring as well as andy white um and junior's lifestyle as well and matea ish shabi thank you to the four of you for sponsoring welcome to the tg elite truly appreciate the support enjoy those emotes and uh thank you so much um for real though thank you for sponsoring we also have uh, mason howard fourth time donating love your vids glad you enjoyed the videos mason and thank you very much we have gb uh 595 random game series for the win you're the best tg thanks for being awesome bloodbath would approve well thank you gb anything that bloodbath approves i approve too so i guess i approve myself uh we have jason warner i'm on vacation on the beach but i still watch you lol love the videos man keep up the good work can't wait for the return of real life zombie mod shout out to you jason all the way from the beach bro enjoy that beach time too that that's good time you know you get your vitamin d you out there in the water enjoy yourself but whatever you like brother big shout out to you uh, we also have Skate 3 Beast, Revenge of the Chicken Man, TG, love you. <laughs> Thank you, Skate. Uh, Guitar Smasher, been watching your videos since you started Real Life Mod on GTA 5. Love your vids, hope you have an awesome day. Well, thank you, Guitar Smasher. Hope you have an awesome day too, my friend. Uh, we have Andy White. Hey, Andre, I've been watching you since midsummer of 17. I broke my wrist in July. You really helped me chill and relax. P.S. When are you going to do episode 25 of the Zombie Apocalypse mod? Laughing emoji. Uh, shout out to you, Andy. Help. Glad it could help in any way, my friend. And uh, not sure when, but it will happen. And I will let you guys know when that does. Uh, shout out to X-Men. Uh, play PUBG Mobile. I definitely should try it out one day. Appreciate that. Phantom Gaming. Gage Quick. Do a live stream of the forest. Definitely got to do more for us soon. We did it yesterday, though. Make sure to check out that episode if you haven't already. Rana Croft, never miss your streams. Keep it up. Thank you, Rana. All the way from England, too. You are savage. Appreciate that. Uh, Chingen, Bayer, or Shill. You should move the bath bathroom door to the other side and make the green section uh, bedroom area and kitchen on the side where the bathroom door was. Chingen, shout out to you. There is a bit of sort of things you can't change with that, so that's why I wanted to work with what I had there. I hope you enjoyed the final product, though. Tyler Pond, glad it could be your favorite YouTuber, man. Glad you enjoy the streams as well. Thank you so much. Mikael, I was waiting for you to live stream for so long. I'm bummed that I didn't get a notification. That sucks, man. Uh, to get those notifications, make sure you subscribe and turn on those post notifications by hitting that bell. Other than that, I'm not sure how else you would get them. Follow me on Twitter if you for sure want to be notified and like turn on notifications on my Twitter as well. Because um, I mostly only tweet. Well, I, I tweet other things too. So, But I, I do tweet when I go live. So there's that. Roblox, uh, row, row, X rap. Uh, Ted will buy the house. No worries. This is looking good, by the way. Nice job. This is also my first super chat. Roblox, shout out to you. Thank you for, for using your first super chat on me. I appreciate that. And uh, we definitely found an appropriate buyer. Thank you, man. Uh, Rodriguez Thompson, 
Uh, you can get the game on Steam. I think it's like 20 bucks or something. This video is not sponsored by them, but feel free to go ahead and get it. Childish Prodigy, what's up, my dude? Edward Sanchez, Bonnie Davison. Uh, we have Austin Q. Thank you so much for the four. Uh, Shrimp Boy Rocks, keep doing a house flipper in NBA 2K18. Thanks for the suggestions, man. Appreciate that. Leo Kelly. Appreciate that. Adaris Ikar, you're the best YouTuber in my life. Thank you for the 50. You're a madman. Thank you, man. <laughs> Glad you enjoy the streams. And I'll, I'll, I'll keep I'll keep live streaming for you, bro. That I could be your favorite. That means the world to me as well. Shout out to you, Adaris Ikar. Autumn N, Parabange, 7 million. Obrigado. All right. Thank you so much, Autumn. Uh, Pro Ford, been watching since 100K. Now you're at 7 mil. Love you, TG. Pro Ford, it's been an insane journey. Thank you for being a part of it, my friend. And thank you for the 10. Uh, we have Jack Gale. If you keep saying the word nut, you will turn into a nut. Keep on, keep up the awesome work, man. Jack, it's just nuts my favorite color in here, you know? It's my favorite color. I know it's yours too, Jack. Don't lie. Appreciate that. I haven't turned into a nut yet, so we're good. Uh, the brick prints, you should put your own custom pictures in. You know, I, I had that idea, right? When, when I saw the Miku picture frame, I thought the exact same thing, Brick. I think I got to do it. Thanks for the thanks for the super chat, brother. We also have uh, Kevin Xavier. It's my birthday and keep up the good work. Love you, man. Will do and happy freaking birthday. Hope you have the best birthday ever, my friend. For real. Enjoy it. Skinny fat boy. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. I'm just going to delete that. It was, it was a weird comment at the start, and then it got nice, but I'm definitely not going to read that. Uh, Beast Mode, thank you so much for the Super Chats. Love the TG logo in your name. Uh, Retro Magnum, just Super Chatted twice saying nut. Got to appreciate that. Judy Hines with two Super Chats. Can you cross-platform Xbox and PC? Uh, you cannot do it currently, I don't believe, um, but whenever they do, that'll be pretty fun. I don't add anyone specifically who super chats or anything like that because then I'd have to add everybody. But if I do open lobbies, would love for you to uh, join in. So thank you so much for those super chats. Really appreciate it and hope to see you uh, one day on Fortnite. Robert S. Flip the kitchen and bedroom, please. I like the way I did it, Robert, with, with the bachelor pad idea. I hope you enjoyed it too in the final product. John Robertson, appreciate that. Alex Bruner. Uh, Road Dog says more GTA and Fortnite. Will do. Jordan Coleman. Fortnite will probably be next. Uh, Jeremy Daniel. Jeremy, and I think this is a 10 out of 10. Jeremy, I like the way you think, bro. Big shout out to you. Ishmael Mata. Gabby PVP. Shout out to the both of you. P-Dog, who says this is his first Super Chat. Well, thank you so much, P-Dog. It's an honor. Uh, Aiden Walker. You and Samara are my favorite. Just wanted to say keep doing what you're doing. You inspire so many people. Also, can I get a shout out? Anytime, Aiden Walker. Appreciate that, and I will, man. I'll do my best always. Promise. B-Plants. You should do a gaming setup video. Oh, Oh, just a gaming setup. I will. I will make like the ultimate gamer house or something. The ultimate gaming setup in House Flipper. That'll be a banger right there. Guaranteed. Thank you, B Plants. Uh, Aiden Walker again. Shout out to you. And then we got Dylan Shea. Uh, when's the next episode of The Forest? Probably tomorrow or the day after. So be on the lookout for that. Molly's Universe. That's a ton of money. We did a ton of work. So you know what? It, it reflected on it. And then can you play this game on Xbox One? I don't know. But I know for sure it's on Steam, so on PC. And then we got Aiden Walker again. Shout out to you. So thank you to everybody who came out to this live stream. Thank you to everyone who, who's just watching, everyone who liked, favorited, um, shared with a friend, liked on Twitter, subscribed, all of that. I appreciate it so much. And I want to thank each and every one uh, from the bottom of my heart for, for just the incredible support, for real. Uh, if you want to cop some of the most fire merch in the game, though, all right? There's a way to do that. And I'm, I'm going to let you in on this little way to do that because I feel like I'm a nice guy. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just trying to figure out how to quit this game without... There we go. I can just exit it. There we go. We good. I don't think I have to save or anything. Imagine I didn't save. I was just screwed over there. All right. So I'll make this easy for you. If you want to cop the most fire merch in the game, head over to typical.store. Um, 75 bucks are over in the U.S. We'll get you free shipping. And you can go ahead and cop some of this most fire merch in the game. If you haven't seen my Instagram, the last Instagram I posted with me driving the Lambo, I was wearing the typical dot store hoodie, and it looked awesome. Go cop yours. Send me a picture if you get some, and you already know what it is. For real, thank you all for the incredible support. I'll be live streaming again today, so make sure to tune into that. Social media in the description, everything else you need to know down there as well. Let me know if you want to see more House Flipper by hitting that like button. That's going to be a wrap for this one. We sold our house for a lot more money. We made like 50% profit on the house almost. 
a little a little bit less than that but we made a lot and hopefully we can keep the flow going that's gonna be it for this one though thanks for watching hope you have an awesome day and peace out